Hi guys, so, um, we're going to be doing the second part of the introduction to Ruby. It's called putting in the form of form a formula or some crap like that. Who knows? Um, check out the code in the editor. We've added some new things. Can you guess what it does? Click save and submit. So this prints um, gets chunk. Hmm. Let's see what it does and see if we can guess. Oh, gets.chomp is the, uh, I guess this lets us choose. It gets our info. What city are you from? California. Ah, cool. And uh, you can see at the bottom here that it puts her first name. Space our last name. Okay. So let's see if we can do this. So uh, print the question. So we want to print what's your first name? Question mark. Okay, cool. So this prints the first name now. Declare a variable first name, so first underscore name equal to gets dot chomp. So that's going to ask us what our first name is. It's then going to chomp it. <laughs> that's not too bad. Excuse me. Wild brother refreshes himself. All right, so. Now, uh, add print prompts, variables, and get us challenge. These are last name, city, and state preference. Use last name variable. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing that was basically in the example. Put your last name. And it may seem a little weird to just type this out, but uh, actually, at least in my case, I find it much easier to or much easier to imprint it long term. So next thing I'll let's we'll say we need one for city. What city were you born in? Oops. And then we're gonna call that city, which is so gets dot chomp, get that user info, and then we're gonna say print what state are you born in? All right. All right, it wants us to prompt them for a state initials, please. All right, and then we need to say state is equal to gets dot chomp. That should be good to go. So first name Dylan, last name Israel. Say where you're born in. Sedina, California. All right. Printing the output. So now we are going to get it all together. There's some example code here. Um, shows us to call that. We need to do the pound, ampersand, hashtag, whatever people are calling it nowadays. And then uh, some brackets here. Shouldn't be that bad. So um, we're going to do puts, parentheses, we're going to say this is my name and then we got a call and then we're going to say uh, first underscore name and then we're going to space and we're going to so we want to do the same thing with last name and I was born in same thing with our 
city. We're going to do it. no space, comma, then space, and then we're going to call the state and add a period. So this should work, I believe. So this is going to ask us what city are you doing. So the last name is Israel. What city were you born in? That's Adina. And then you see it. This is my name, Dylan Israel. And I was born in Pasadena, California. Cool. So formatting with string. So let's see. First, we introduce one new method. Capitalize. Capitalize. Capitalize is the first letter of the string. Okay. And then. All right, after each variable, Simon for Sam, add the capitalized method. So let's see, we kind of could be wrong, but uh. Let's see. Sometimes they'll tell us we messed up, but we're actually putting in a bit of info here. Sometimes I like to just test to see if I'm on the right track. Oh, okay. So I think uh, we need to add the. If we're gonna just straight out go out and call it out like that, we need to add the uh, exclamation point. Oh, that's interesting. It says that we didn't call them on state, but you can see we entered it here and it capitalized it. So let's go to the Q&A forums because sometimes there's little bugs on the site. And we're in section six seven, putting of putting a form in the formatter. Okay, and just to be clear, the reason they give you all these examples here is um, when you call the capitalize with the exclamation point, it actually changes the original value, not just alter it for view. So now our first letter of state capitalize is now going to be a capital C dot A. Uh, hmm. Let's try this one more time because this should work. Oh, we have to call upcase on state. Forgot this part two. All right, and then we're going to call state dot upcase exclamation point. All right, one more time details man 
details. Alright. And we'll do lowercase. We want to see the change. And you can see it not only upcased it, but it did the first one as well. Alright, and the last part. Oh. Now it's just going to let us uh, show our code one more time. So we'll do this and we'll take a peek at what our next section is. We'll lower this in. Cool. And uh, cool, you can share it. I always share every every little little one like this, just because uh, I think a little bit more coding in the world would be a good thing. So next is control flow in Ruby. You can see now we're moving on to if and else if statements. And uh, something called end. 